I'm here with Michael Demang, who is a magician with his imagination. So this episode is all about brushes, and boy, have you brought some amazing brush creatures? What would you call well, these? Well, these are good brushes gone bad, because <laughs> everybody has those brushes that, you know, they get all dried out, mm -hmm. and you know, they have stuff stuck to them, and you gotta figure out what you're gonna do with them. Well, you mean other than throw them away? Other than throw them away, yes. exactly. So that's exactly what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take a little bit of clay, some found objects, and turn them into creatures. Give them personality. You got it. Let's get started. It. Okay, so we've got a brush. This is the brush we're gonna use. This is kind of a nice bristly brush. <laughs> and of course, this will be the hair. I mean, it'll, you know, I mean, that'll that'll work out well. Of course, this is a, you know, if you really want it, you can gob it up with paint and get it all okay. corroded out if you want. This guy is, we're gonna just take little bits of him. I want his mouth. So I think I'm gonna just cut that off. So with that, I'm gonna grab a rotary tool and a cutoff wheel, and I might even cut his ears off too, but let's just see what we got. So uh, it's interesting, you're, it's a doll head, I assume. Well, yes. And I don't think this is a real <laughs> elf, in case oh, you were wondering. I hope not. Okay, so yeah, this is a, uh, this is a, turn that up a little bit. And we're just gonna slice it off. So is that hollow inside, or? Yes, as far okay. as I can tell, that's hollow. So you're really, I mean, one of the things that you do is you look at objects and you decide what looks like it might be interesting to you. That's exactly right. So in this case, his creepy little nose and his creepy little mouth are what look interesting to me. Now, this is obviously a plastic, not uh, porcelain or any other kind of material, so that you can use a blade that's specifically for plastic. Right, and you can obviously find blades that will cut porcelain, but it's way easier to use plastic or resin or right, something. Right, and I was gonna assume it's kind of like cutting porcelain tile then, where you need to have like water on it, and it just, you know, the whole thing. That's correct, so this, is easy, all oh we need. Oh my gosh. See, a little face. Surgery, plastic surgery. Oh, you look really good like that. I've, I've always wanted a smaller <laughs> mouth, so. So yeah, so we're gonna use that, and that's gonna go right there. So if you'll do me a favor yeah. and start mixing some clay, and then what we'll do is we're going to sort of assemble this in a way, and then we're gonna start globbing that, that together. So, so we're gonna, I like your technical terms. We're gonna glob, glob. that together. We're gonna do some globbing. Now, I am having you do that, yeah. but unbeknownst to you, yes. I have already mixed some clay. Oh, oh okay. Well, I'll well, still mix it because it's mix fun. It because and I like to see that it goes from these two separate colors into what you have, which is one yes. nicely blended color. Right, and so you want it to look like this. And now that it's mixed, it, I, I mixed up, I can use my bare hands. Okay. And so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pressing this into the surface. So you don't, I mean, this is the adhesive, I guess. You don't need any additional well, here's, adhesive. Well, here's the deal, okay? The more rough, open coarse, or even little notches a surface mm -hmm. have, the more this stuff will stick to it. So a totally slick, bendable surface might not be the best. But so there's like a, a plastic straw. Yeah, exactly, would sort of suck, unless you wrapped it around it. So in this case, I'm gonna start bringing it around, and then I'm gonna sort of push it in. Gush, I'm gonna gush it in. You're gonna mush it and smush it. I'm gonna mush it and smush it. So cool, so then you just mush it right into there. Right. And now, I assume we don't have to worry about the color of anything because we're gonna paint it in the It's end. all gonna get painted, you know, because this is just the initial stage. So right now, I'm just laying these basic pancakes So of how clay long down. do you have to work with this after uh, I've finally finished mixing it? Do you have like 30 minutes? Do you we have... have about two and a half hours oh. for that to so totally So if the phone cure. rings, you're fine. Right, so no rush, you have about two and a half hours and you then can just, you know, after it totally cures and you could actually sand it down. By the way, I just have to point out how amazing it is that you created a, very much an eye look just by pinching the clay around that glass eye bead or whatever it it's, is. It's a technical term called pinching around the glass eye bead. <laughs> I um, like that technical term. It's yes. maybe a little long. Yes, well, I, you could break it down into, you know, sort of, you know, the, the abbreviations of the letters, but I, I can't even remember what that was. So, <laughs> so and I'm, I'm doing the same kind of thing about pinching, but I'm doing that now with, 
the actual eyelid. Eye, eyelid. And we can do some, you know, exaggerate some chubby cheeks. So unlike traditional clay, you don't need to like score this and add slurry and all that kind of stuff to make it stick. You could add a slurry, so you could water it okay. down and smooth it into the surface. That's certainly helpful. Now the other thing you could do, now let's imagine you don't want to make a good brush gone bad. Okay. Instead, you, let's say you have your very special, special brush. This mm -hmm. is my favorite brush. I love my brush. I have to have <laughs> my brush. But you actually use it. Oh. Well, you could also make a special handle for it. So your ah. special brush, you could come in and put a handle in. And with that, you could say, oh, I need my, uh, my special brush. I need my special rib to cage rib design cage. in here. Well, you could certainly put your name in it. I'm sure you could Absolutely. embed like a metal charm that had something. You could put, I mean. Design patterns. Yeah. All these sorts of things you can do with it. And we can, you know. Or I have some brushes that have really thin handles and I want them to have fatter ones I could actually kind of build out. I've mixed this for you if you need more, by the way. I, I probably will. So, so what I'm gonna do Teamwork. is I'm gonna, it thanks you so much. You're the bestest. So, and here, I'm just, I'm just gonna need this clay. I need this clay. And so. By the I way, need, am I supposed to close these containers or is it okay You know, for the them cool thing about open? this stuff is, mm -hmm. okay, you wanna know a secret? Yeah. I like never ever close my oh. clay. Now well, I don't want to tell, I would it. never tell that to a vast audience. Well that's like I never clean yeah. my paintbrushes. Let, let's not tell anybody that. Yeah, yeah, I see. That These stuff, are art confessionals. That's right, art confessionals. But you know the thing is, it's ideal if you can can close the containers, but. If you don't, you if don't. If you don't, you fine. don't, and they don't go, it's really the mixing of it. That, that makes, makes it, it pure, go. So, okay. Yeah. So I'm just grooving along. And embedding, like, I can see now any leftover parts you have from other projects. It looks to me like these I, are little skeleton kind of bits. Yep. You, but you could definitely take little pieces. I assume you will not throw that doll's head away, that you will do something amazing well, and terrific I, with it. Well, you know, when I look at this, I even look at, like, the eyes on there. Yeah. And I could possibly have used those instead of these, you know, oh. nice glass eyes because those are pretty good, right? So those are pretty decent eyes. I don't know that I would reuse the... the um, Eyebrows. Well, you know, those are kind of stupid. Because I could make way. I could make those. Okay. Up. So if we look at these finished ones, I can see that you have you built these teeth? Those, you know what those are? Those what? are from a Shrek costume. Oh wow. You know how like you buy the little antennas yeah. and they come with that and then use that. You could use dentures, you could use whatever. And dolls nose. So cool. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And is there any kind of specific paint or just any paint? I use I prefer to use um, a acrylic? Uh, acrylic paint. You know, that's great. You know, oil paint takes too long to dry, so you know, use an using acrylic paint. I'm impatient too, Michael. This was great.